You think turning off your Wi-Fi makes you invisible? Think again. What's up, everyone? So you've disconnected from the internet, unplugged that ethernet cable, feeling safe and private, right? Well, I'm about to show you why offline mode in Windows is basically a lie. Your computer is still watching everything you do. Let's dive in. Here's what most people think. No internet equals no tracking. But here's the truth. Windows doesn't advertise. Your computer is like that friend who takes notes on everything you do and then gossips about it the moment they get cell service. Windows isn't tracking you in real time when you're offline. It's just storing everything. Building a profile, waiting, and the second you connect, boom, data dumps straight to Microsoft's servers. So what exactly is Windows collecting while you're offline? Let's break it down. Windows keeps a surprisingly detailed timeline of everything you do. Open an app, timestamped, touch a document, logged instantly, spend too long in a program, it knows and records it, your file browsing habits, fully mapped. Even your local searches aren't private. They're quietly cataloged. And where does this data live? Right here. Go check that folder right now. Yeah, it's a lot, isn't it? Stay till the end of the video. I'll show you exactly how to fix all of this. Even when you're completely offline, Windows telemetry does not take a break. It keeps recording. Every crash, every freeze, every tiny error, every piece of software you install or uninstall, every hardware change you make, every driver that fails, updates, or misbehaves. Windows basically runs its own black box recorder, just like the one in an airplane. You know that Windows search service? It never actually stops. Even if you never open Cortana or search in File Explorer, it's quietly building a massive profile of your digital life. Here's what it's doing in the background. Indexing files. Every document, image, video, and program on your drives. Scanning emails. If you use Windows Mail, it's reading your messages to make searches faster. Monitoring voice commands. Cortana is listening for wake words and processing commands. Even offline. Learning your habits. It remembers what you search for to improve results. Mapping your drives. Creating a detailed map of every folder and file on your system. So, even if you think you're private, Windows Search is quietly keeping track of everything you do. But I'm offline, so how can Windows track my location? Oh, trust me, it finds a way. It uses the IDs of nearby devices to guess where you are. Windows remembers those locations. And yes, it can match them even when you're offline. If a connected device has location data, Windows records it. That alone can reveal your region and movement. Your computer is basically playing detective, piecing together where you are using tiny environmental clues, even without internet access. Windows says it does this to improve your typing experience. But what it actually logs is kind of wild. Your custom dictionary words, how fast you type, your typing rhythm and patterns, handwriting samples if you're on a touch device, every single autocorrect interaction, it's basically building a fingerprint of how you type, not just what you type. And honestly, that's a little creepy when you think about it. So all this data is just sitting there, waiting. Then you reconnect to Wi-Fi and one, everything syncs to Microsoft servers through your account. Two, diagnostic data uploads in bulk to their analytics platforms. Three, your activity graph gets updated on Microsoft's dashboard. Four, that data feeds into advertising profiles for targeted ads. Five, if you have multiple devices, it all syncs across them. Offline mode isn't no tracking. It's deferred upload mode. Your computer is like, hold on, let me just remember all of this. Okay, cool, we're online. Here's everything.
Warning. Only do this if you know what you're doing. Messing with the registry can break things. This basically tells Windows, don't collect any optional telemetry. Look, I want to be fair here. Some of this data collection serves legitimate purposes. Crash reports help Microsoft fix bugs. Performance metrics improve system stability. Usage data guides feature development. But here's the thing. You should decide what gets collected. Not a default setting buried six menus deep. The problem isn't that Windows can track you. It's that most users have no idea it's happening. And when you think you're offline and safe, you're really just postponing the data upload. True privacy requires action, not assumptions. So there you have it. Offline mode is basically Windows taking notes in the background, waiting to tell Microsoft everything the moment you reconnect the good news? You're not powerless. Use the tips in this video to actually take control of your privacy. Question for you. Were you surprised by any of these tracking methods? Let me know in the comments. I read all of them. If this video opened your eyes, smash that like button. Share it with someone who needs to see this and subscribe for more privacy and tech content. I've got links in the description to all the settings, paths, and tools I mentioned. Thanks for watching, stay private, and I'll see you in the next one.